uh, you know, talking about fireplace, <laughs> welcome to my home. This is my fireplace, Fire, fireplace in my house. You know, I really wanted to call this fireplace stalks, you know, but um, I just kind of uh, took the fire side chats, you know, and anyone that knows this street knows that this resonates with FDR, Franklin Delano uh, Roosevelt. You know, one of my uh, best president and leader, mentor, you know, and the deepest during the Great Depression was a way of uh, talking to the people and getting the consciousness of the people, getting to the heart of the people. And, you know, in, in leadership, uh, communication is important because a leader sets vision and people are controlled by what they see, you know. So Franklin did that in a way to capture the heart of the people along with what he was doing, such that there is a marriage between reality and perception, because it doesn't really matter what reality you, you shoot out there. People are motivated by perception. Perception is reality. <laughs> Even though there's reality, but people don't know reality. You know, that's what we'll say, you know, nothing is real in life, right? It is the perception you have of it that is your own reality. And that's what drives your life. You know, that's why uh, human beings are the only creation of God that can determine their own destiny and determine their own reality, irrespective of what reality is. You know, we are creators, right? So not, but none of us sees reality. You know, it's so funny the way even we're created because all we see or we think we see is not what is, because truly what he image that is the high, the high is upside down. It is the brain that corrects it. So we don't really see what we think we see, because even what we're seeing, the way he hits the highs is upside down. Whatever information hits your eyes now goes to your brain. Your brain now interprets it. <laughs> so you might be deceived by what you think you're seeing because you're truly not seeing what is. We only see what your brain has interpreted it to be. That is why it's important, your mindset. Your mindset drives your life. The way your mind is positioned determines your destiny because your destiny is not controlled by what truly is. It's controlled by your interpretation of what is. It is your perception that drives your life, not true reality. So for you to drive your life in the position, direction you want it to be, you have to control your perception because that is what truly drives your life. That is why we would say, clean the, 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 the window of your life. Clean your eyes, clean your paradigm. We'll talk about paradigm shift because it's not reality that's controlling your life. It is your interpretation of it. So if your interpretation is wrong, your life will go in the wrong direction. If your interpretation is right, your life will go in the right direction. If your mindset is a growth mentality, then you begin to drive your life in the, in the, in the highest form it can it can never be or if it's one that is fixed you know well, I, be I don't do this, this, this then you're only going to go downstream where all the depths of life goes you cannot get to the fullness of what life has for you you know so for you to win in life you have to take control of your mindset the your perception because your perception makes all the difference so we'll say if you think you can do it you're correct if you think you cannot do it you're correct it's all your perception. And that's what drives your life, you know? And I have a, just coming back to the reason why we're doing this, and I'm already past my introduction. You know, I just call this a fireplace chat, you know, of fireside chat, you know? And I just want to spend time every Saturday, 30 minutes, you know, just share my heart with you. And because it's a scheduled time, you know, I have, I hold you to have a, a, a a schedule or a plan or a systematic way of going about this, you know, because I also, if I'm going to take 30 minutes of your time and I want it to be a time of value, something you can, that can change your life, direct your life in the path in how to go, right? It's not just me, you know, trying to be <laughs> seemingly popular, coming to do this, you know, and I'm not trying to be popular. I am already popular, right? I, I have run so many things online and, uh, uh, it goes into places I can never imagine in my life. You know, I get a cancer. People I'll probably never meet in my life. So this has nothing to do with popularity. It has something.